with everything that has come out this week at the owners meetings with John Lynch's comments on Monday, Kyle Shanahan's comments on Tuesday, we had a very ranty episode on Tuesday talking about that quarterback room. Um, you know, it, it does appear based on some comments from, from Shanahan and Lynch that this is Purdy's team when he's healthy, but do you still buy into Lance's future even though he is as green as he is. And it sounds like, again, your in your mind, that that element that Lance brings would would elevate this offense even more. Yeah, I mean, here here's sort of my take on it, right? Is that by the end of next year, let's say, more than half of the league is going to be running this offense, right? In some yeah. way, shape, or form, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think we're at like 40% the last time that I checked. And so... But, but none of those teams that run it, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, have a quarter a mobile quarterback. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anybody or if I'm maybe underplaying somebody's athleticism. But when half the league is running an offense and 100% of the defensive coordinators are spending their entire offseason preparing for basically the outer reaches of what that system can do, Trey Lance is the one guy that can blow that whole thing up. Brock Purdy can't. Brock Purdy can follow the rules better than Trey Lance, but mm -hmm. Trey Lance can dictate new rules. And so uh, that was always my understanding of the impetus behind the pick and, you know, whether or not they want to keep pushing in that direction, I'm not sure, but it's just like, to me, it makes all the sense in the world to throw all your investments behind him. And, you know, Purdy's not going anywhere. He's not costing you anything and you're not losing him at any point, you know? So I don't know. I, I think you'd give it another go with Trey Lance.